It's high noon. Draw! Oh yeah! Hello, Master in 347 for another, well, Super Bosses one. <laughs> yep, last time we defeated a pretty f mischievous bunny and I actually almost died. <laughs> Basically there. If we went for the unbeatable gem that is. <laughs> Seriously, if we went for that, things might not have gone very well. <laughs> but yeah. Speaking of which, actually, I'm going to take a quick look at the unbeatable gem on you, just in case. Anywho, um, yeah, so off screen I finally max out everyone's um, skill trees, especially for yours. Her innocence, rashness, and the rest of zeal. And they're really good, especially innocence. All of these basically are exclusive for Fiora. You can't equip, it looks like these, these diamond shaped ones, these square shaped ones, or basically, um, if you check the skills, there's no, um, let's have a look. See, there's no um, triangle shaped ones. You noticed? Those ones are exclusive to Spirit Pie members. See, allows, but see, these ones are exclusive. So, all of this is um, f uh, for Fiora only. And all of them give her a nice boost in the boosts as long as F Shulk is in the party. So, let's see, improves chain attack damage, increases art damage, restores HP when taking damage. Prevents tension from becoming low in battle, rib shulk, and grant all stat boosts encouraged by shulk. As long as shulk's in the party, this will pretty much make her really powerful. This is a nice skill. And Rash also has some pretty nice stats too. Like, increases tension by one level when using a talent art. That one's really nice, so I totally equipped that one definitely on. It doesn't cost a lot of coins, but it's definitely worth it for that. <coughs> Death Rev indeed. But yeah, I can't really think else to put on quite frankly. Hmm. Eh, what the hell. Basically, um, the important ones though in the skills are basically to do with, um, <coughs> with wind. Because it heals, he probably gets healed after a chain attack. Or um, you can also have, um, or you could also have increases chance of chaining and heals a chain attack. So either one is really nice to have. So uh, yeah, it's probably one of the reasons. But I thought I took the healing one because um, basically um, that, that's pretty useful. It heals the whole party though. Hmm. Actually, I already have two of healing ones. Actually, I think I took the chain chance. Oh yeah, there we go. increases chain chance. That's the healing one. There's also the the other healing one too, right up here. That increases chain chance like so, but the other one, this one, and uh, heals. So I could chain chance on um, Fiora and um, Wine. So that way, as soon as Shulk goes, the chance of getting a chain link increases. So it's it's pretty sweet. <laughs> this is the reason why I pretty much want to max at your affinity for characters. As for gems and stuff, um, I try to get agility up for them. Yeah, you see, agility up, pretty much getting through what actually does. What it does is it increases your evasion and accuracy, physical accuracy attacks. So that's why it's really good to have. Go out with night shift gems, and you're pretty much guaranteed to hit. Very nice. Spike defense buff again, because um, when this monster um, gets toppled, he has a spike defense that, that does 2,500 damage. So that's only 5% of that, but we can actually further decrease that thanks to a certain skill tree with, um, with Melia. So Melia, basically, um, hmm, did I not equip that on Shulk? Hey, was it? Oh, wait a minute. Did I get the wrong person? Oh, yeah. Oh, Dunban. 
Yes, Dunban has reduced spike damage. So that's 20% compared to 75%, so that's 95% reduction. It's only 5% attack. It's pretty good. I was thinking of um, Fjord's other ability. This one. Plus 50%, but that costs way too much SP. So the spike defense, 95% is just as good as 100%. So yeah. But here we go. I did actually manage to beat this thing and do record it. But I didn't like the attempt because it took way too long. And the thing is, remember, night vision gems only work at night. And this guy is pretty big as our health. The problem is, though, is that eventually become daytime. So I can with a little method of sorts. Notice that I have topple plus gems for these two. Basically, this ex what this does is it extends the duration of topple, which is really important. Gonna beat wall just in case, as a bit of a caution. And another thing we need to finish at night. So here we go. Oh boy, this isn't going to be fun. I don't want to be attacked, so that's what I'm doing with this. Oh. Another vision here. Eh? It's just combo. Really? Time to stop time to start the cheese. Here I come. Steel strike. Fiora, your turn. My turn. <laughs> we did it. We are at one with the battlefield. I really like our fight. Unity is vital to a superior team, Fiora. <laughs> Understood, Jumba. Ha! All right, I'm feeling it. Go get him, Viora. Stay strong. We can definitely do this. Here we go. Ezra, Jumba. Aha! Steel strike, Viora. Your turn. All righty. Got it! Yeah! I really like our five! Me too, Fiora! How do you like that? And this, so you can stay hold a bit longer. Behold the power of the Monago! I know I can! I know this! Let the cheese begin! It's extremely cheap, but I don't care. This thing is so annoying. Leave it to me. Steel strike. Fiora, your turn. All righty. Final cross. Everything gone blurred. Come on. We're not finished. Got it. Ha! Ezra. We move it's not over yet. Aha. Uh -huh. You cannot escape. Okay. My turn. There we are, just in case. Yep. Thank you, Chainlink. And as you can see, my um, gold is almost full again. Ready? We can definitely do this. Let's go this. 
Good, I lowered his defenses, so now my attacks do even more damage. Okay, and this. Now you see that? That's because of the duration ability I have. So he's going to stay toppled for a real long time. See that? He's toppled for a real long time. That's all because of the top of this. It's cheap, but this guy is just too annoying. I had to do it. Okay, my turn. How do you like bats? Just like old times. And because of the healing effect when defeating a chain attack like so, my self image gets fully healed. This is why this team is pretty much unbeatable. It's cheap, but it's necessary. See, so that's the thing, because you can actually add it on. It's all because of the ability to uh... <laughs> right, Oh what's the matter? You can't go into your counter. You can't use your red aura, can you, you bitch? Yeah. It's going down. <sighs> His red oh, is the worst. <laughs> uh it's cheap. But I'm just at this point. Got ya! That's right, Dumbo. That was great, guys! Ah, just like old times. Trust me, this what I did was extremely cheap, but was necessary. His attacks are annoying. Also remember he has two spike counters. He has an his uh, his normal spike counter he's toppled does two thousand five hundred damage. That does damage. His normal spike counter is an aura which is permanently around him. And it's topple. So every time you hit him, you will fall over, which is why you need topple resist. That's why I also have spike topple as well. Combine this with certain skills, and this team is pretty much unbeatable. It really is insane. Seriously. <laughs> also, this as well, this cooldown at night is also a nice plus. As you saw, I was really doing the damage right there. <laughs> but um, you really want to fight this guy because if you want, because he gives you AP up rank five and talent boost as well. Let's see, if we got that. Oh, glory gauntlets. Oh, that's actually quite nice. That gives you um haste at forty five percent and crisp and nice defenses as well. That actually, that's pretty nice. Ah oh, man, I was hoping for the talent boost and AP up on. But oh well. But yeah, he just dropped the glory gear as well, which is really nice. Ooh, I take that gauntlet though. Yep, very nice. And there we go. Yeah, I made one look a lot more easier because um, basically of how cheap I was. 
this first set was pretty much unbeatable. It's it's really is insanely overpowered. But yeah, he, he dropped some talent boost gems like um, the ones I've equipped on Shulk right here. The talent boost and also AP up gems. So but at this point, you only want AP up gems if you're trying to max out some certain arts and stuff. If you really need those arts maxed out. <laughs> Maybe I might try and max out Monado Cyclone. So that I can do more damage and stuff. Maybe. But yeah, maxing out your favourite arts you're going to be using is important. But yeah. As you saw, this method is extremely cheap, but at this point, I'm just having fun of it. But yeah, without that, he has some really annoying attacks. He also does, he also, his normal attacks and always hits an enemy twice because he, he has double attack, which is annoying. He also, he has his stomping move, which even though it targets one person, actually hits, it's actually an area effect, so you have to use Mardo armor for that. Yeah, this may seem pretty cheap, but at this point, you pretty much want to be cheap. <laughs> yeah. You probably guess, but I'm pretty much going to do the similar strategy for the last of the super bosses. Yes. I was looking at I was looking at that glory gauntlet though. Very nice. Yes. Hmm. This is actually the best one because it gives you haste forty five percent. That's actually really nice. So it lets you attack quicker for the same percentage. So that's pretty sweet. Hmm, I think I might give that to Dunban actually. And then um basically um Actually yeah, I think I will give that to Dunban. Nice. Hmm. Very nice indeed. I guess I don't need a debuff resist. I guess I try the, uh, let's see, unbeatable one. Yeah, that's nice. I'm actually going to grind this guy off screen. I'm going to do in casual mode so I can have an even easier time. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do that super cheap. So the thing is, guys, is that night time is going to last forever. Night vision gems only work at night. So if I took too long and didn't try to stun lock him like I did, then eventually it would come to day. And my accuracy will literally drop 50%, and that's bad because then all I hits will miss. I was like losing tension. Well, actually, I probably won't. I won't use tension much because of Fiora's ability. Because of Fiora's ability to not lose tension when shocks in the party, that's pretty nice. But still, it's pretty bad. You, you don't want to. Um, you don't want to take your time with this one. Hmm. So there we go. Yeah, but a lot quicker compared to the others. That's because I'm a lot more prepared. I max out all of my skill trees now, so a lot more variety. It's mostly a Fiora. Oh, it was such a pain to max out that damn skill tree, but I did it. <laughs> it just shows that making a few adjustments and getting a few of the skill trees can really make a difference in power. So it's pretty sweet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we are. Next time, like I said, we're going to have to do a certain dragon, who's actually in the very same spot as Final Marcus. The annoying thing is, to get into spawn, it isn't just at a certain time, it has to be during the blizzard, I think. I don't think it appears at any time, which kind of makes it annoying. All the others are usually like during the day or the night, but this one is during a blizzard, which is just so annoying. Because it's, it's a specific weather condition, but uh, I have to get by. Plus the annoying part is, is that final Marcus is still there too. And even though he's a piece of cake, fighting against the toughest of the super bosses and final Marcus is just a pain in the ass. <laughs> but anywho. With that though, I am now done. And yeah, I learned from the previous super boss I fought. I got too lucky there. Somebody might not get as lucky as me because um, that was a little stop in my end. So you can't do that now with the other two. You, you got you got to be on your way again. <laughs> but with that, it is Massive 347, gamer of all types, obviously the platformer. 
Stay classy.